and I'm not sure that wire is plugged in all the way so at least we know the problem though and it does have it doesn't have a stator issue or whatever so it's all good news like it's not easy to kick at all I'm not sure if my compression tester ain't tester is just janky but that's how it reads right there 130 140 now we should just be able to pull this thing up out of here I thought it was worse. Um, wow. Oh my god. Look at this fuel. Yeah, so just a deeper look in this car before I throw it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Alright guys, so I figure while we have this carb off, we should take the reeds off and just inspect them. Hoping they're good. Because reeds can get a little bit expensive. This boot looks good. No dry rotting or cracking. So that's good news. We will be able to see the cylinder a little bit and the piston also with these reeds out. So, good to inspect that stuff a little bit. Alright guys, we got all the bolts out. Let's inspect this reed cage here. Okay, if you guys can see, the reeds themselves don't look like they have any chipping. They actually look really dang good. Can't see through there at all. Like, there's no light. So these look perfect. I don't know if you guys can see well, but it's pretty dang good. So that's awesome news. I'll get this back in there. Probably clean this out a little bit before. And then uh, we'll get this back in there. So let's check out the piston while we are in here. I'm trying to get you guys a good view. The piston looks new, guys. This thing doesn't really fit in there, but uh, yeah, it looks fairly new. Hey guys, so we got the reed cage back on, all secured down. So we're gonna take these jets out. Let's see what these jets look like. The main is clear. All right, guys, so we shall see what the pilot jet looks like here. There it is. Can't see through the pilot. I'm trying to be really thorough with this quad, guys, because I don't... It would be damn cool if she just started up after uh, we do all this crap. I'm so happy it has sparks still. It's, that was a scare this morning. And uh, take a little wire brush to these so we can see the numbers on them. Alright guys, so we have a 440 main jet, which should compensate good for that um, the FMF pipe and uh, silencer on there. The stock is 4, 420, so I think that probably is jetted properly if I had to guess. So I think I'm going to blow this thing out one more time, clean it up one more time, and we'll start reassembly here because I want to I get this thing running today. This float bowl is pretty dang clean. Ran that thing to the ultrasonic cleaner in like every freaking way it could be positioned in there. So, hey right, guys, it's time to uh, slap this car back on, and uh, maybe we'll try to fire her up. See, see what goes on. We'll have to put the air boot on also, so you guys can see. And we still got some cleaning to do in this uh, air box here before we go ahead and try to start it. I'm gonna clean this throttle slide up a little bit and then I'll throw that cap back on. Alright guys, so I put the little piece of paper towel on the back side of the carburetor here. I'm just gonna blow this out again because that filter still looks filthy. 
and kind of just clean, deep clean, still get these passageways and I'll uh, I'll get back to you guys. I'm not going to bore the hell out of you with the clean and stuff. Now we got this boot to install, the car boot to the air box. Um, everything's pretty much cleaned in there as best I could. I didn't put the new filter in. I'm just going to hold off on that. Alright guys, so time to reinstall this gas tank and we're getting really close to trying to start this thing. Let's put some new gas line on this thing and uh, after that we're ready to gas up and uh, I think we're ready to try this freaking thing out guys. Alright guys, so let's run some new line from our pet cock. Alrighty, gas line on. We're ready to try to start this thing, guys. Um, just, since I don't have a gasket, I'm just gonna run a little bit of silicone. Oh, I wanna put these plastics on first. We gotta mix up some two-stroke gas, um, and then it's go time. Let's go. Alright, guys. We've got our gas and oil mixed here. We're just starting to mix it. It's at 32 to 1. All right, so let's go ahead and put this front plastic and the rear plastic and the seat on. It does have coolant in here. I double checked. Like I said, I'm not going to really fasten anything down right now. I want to see if this thing runs first. Mix up that gas a little bit. Oh, it's almost go time. All right, guys. So the reason for me wanting to change this oil, just um, you know, there's no sight glass, there's no dipstick, there's no sight glass as far as I can see. So I just want to be sure. I don't want to, you know, uh, have problems with the transmission or clutch because we have no oil if it was leaking for some reason over the years or just good to check Ooh, it looks new looks brandy new look at that it's red it's interesting I wonder what kind of engine oil he was using in there but that's a very good sign looks like a good amount is coming out also so all right guys from what I read it's a thousand milliliters. Hey right, guys, I think it's time. We have coolant, we have gas mixed at 32 to one. We just changed our transmission oil, clean the carb, clean the air box, check the reeds, petcock's working. Let's try this thing, man. Let's see, boys. Give it a few primer kicks. Damn plastic. Mix up that gas one more time. These bad plastics are so annoying. See if this thing even wants to run after sitting for as long as it has. Let's try some starting fluid, guys. This thing's got me tired. All right, guys, so I just checked that wire 
that we were having trouble with last video. And um, it was a little bit loose. I'm not sure if we're getting spark. Also, I'm not even sure if this thing's on this run button here. I think so. So let's give it another go. Get the fuck out of me. <sighs> you guys heard that? Wow. That's a deep freaking quad. This thing roars. Sounded good. Let's try the choke the other way. Let me secure this wire better. Maybe that's what's going on here. I'm not really sure. It's backfiring and making all sorts of noises. All right, guys. Secured, the, yeah, secured that wire a little bit. I think, I think, should be better. Let's see. Oh my God, that's a kickback. It's my first time starting a quadzilla, guys. I've never owned like a big bore two stroke like this, like besides the Banshee, but those are super easy to kick. Guys, I think the mixture's off a little bit. Seems a little rich. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of gas because I think I went just a tad bit over 32 to 1 just to, you know, make sure there's maximum lubrication in that cylinder. So let me add a tiny bit of gas, see if that uh, kind of evens out our mixture. <laughs> <laughs> 